this woman. <laughs> What's her name? Why doesn't it show you like their names? This is this is shit. This woman. Thank you so much for having Love us. Your outfit. Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. This isn't her best one. This isn't her best one. I want to show you guys this one. Um, is there a way to sort by like most? Yeah, there we go. Popular. <laughs> this one. This one. <laughs> decorates with candy, but you can eat it whenever you want. What is this? Hey, what can I get you guys for a snack? Sorry, POV almond child goes to a friend's house. I've never heard the word almond child or almond mom before. So actually, let's just look it up really quickly. But this TikTok basically told me what an almond mom was. It looks like it's, it's described as an almond mom is a mom who is a little bought into diet culture, uh, has an obsession with healthy eating, with her body image and with her daughter's body image, maybe a little bit of an obsession with fitness, but it tends to veer on the side of overdoing it. Basically, women with uh, eating disorders uh, putting their insecurities in you. So I'll just restart it. Mom decorates with candy. But you can eat it whenever you want? What is this? Hey, what can I get you guys for a snack? Do you guys still have that Gatorade? Yeah. I'll have Gatorade. I'll have Gatorade. We only can have water at home. My mom doesn't like us to drink our sugar. <laughs> I just heard your mom call for pizza. It's a Wednesday night. Does she know it's closed? Um, what are you talking about? What do you mean? We get pizza all the time. No, like you can only get pizza like once a month on a Friday. You know I feel that, like your right? mom made that up. I have to go to CrossFit with my dad. See you later. Mom decorates with candles. <laughs> like, I feel like this woman makes fun of, like, a very specific type of woman. And I would say a pretty terrible type of woman, right? Because the moms who do this usually, like, project so many insecurities in their kids uh, and give their kids body image issues. Like, oh God, I'm, I'm going to get so sidetracked, but I, I, I really want to say what I want to say. So I'm going to, you guys know how the issue of like male loneliness and male friendships has to be solved sort of internally and men have to, uh, break through like toxic masculinity that society pushes on them. And just be gay with their homies, you know, just tell their homies that they look cool and that they look pog and that they love their friends, you know, but it takes a lot to get there, right? That's not something that like women are, women can't solve that problem. It's not possible, right? Um, I would say that there is something similar happening with moms and their daughters where moms will give their daughters some of the worst body image issues, Okay. There, it's like, it is a plague, the number of moms that will tell their daughters that they, they're getting fat or that, you know, they look ugly or that they need to go get filler or that they need to get this. Like moms do it a lot. I'm sure that it also happens in other instances as well, but I will tell you, like, it is fucked. And it's also, it gets more fucked in sp uh, certain cultures. I know um, Asian Americans have talked about this a lot. Um, where Asian Americans will gain weight. And, and it's not like so much weight that there's any health issues, like maybe 10 pounds, you know? When you're plus 10 pounds of your like normal weight, you're, you're fine. There's nothing wrong. There's no health issue that you're going to run into, right? And from what I've been told, Asian American mothers um, will shame their daughters like crazy and it's really sad it's just really sad um so yeah so yeah but i would say <laughs> this guy makes fun of a very specific type of man and it is so funny and i think i have a lot of respect for anyone who can make fun of uh very terrible characters that belong to their gender okay <laughs> Well, my friend. This is titled Average Redditor Goes to Your Funeral. Hmm. 
At 500 grams of makeup applied by the mortuary cosmetologist really makes your face look less terrifying. That is, of course, sarcasm. I just had a lengthy conversation with your mother, or should I say, I provided her a much-needed vocabulary lesson. That dim-witted shrew insists that your demise was a result of a skydiving accident. However, I corrected her by explaining that an accident would imply an unexpected event beyond anyone's control. This, however, was gross negligence, since it was easily preventable. <laughs> if you weren't soon to be worm food, I would provide you a demonstration how you properly pack your parachute. You do know that you have to activate your parachute prior to impacting the ground at 200 kilometers per hour. <laughs> he just, he just, he can do it. He can he's so good at imitating like the worst type of men just like that you don't run into them very often but when you do you want to cry this one this one caused me psychic damage what is going on here hi can i help you the name sensei Ledoux. <laughs> maurice didn't tell me he had a sister maurice your friend dewey's here oh it's not dewey it's sensei Ledoux, idiot Maurice, don't speak to me that way. Nice! Pickle bites! How fortuitous! <laughs> I'm so glad she made these. Her food sucks. Well, good thing the bagel bites are free, Maurice. Just like living in my house. Well, I would have preferred some soda instead of this flavorless water, but I suppose this will suffice. Yeah, too bad. So, Ladue, are you married <gasps> or. Make us up! She's still outside! Mom, what are you doing? What? Let in now. Okay, hold on. Let me let her in. The fuck? What is going on here? <laughs> Hi, can I help you? The name <laughs> Sensei Ledoux. Maurice didn't tell me he had a sister. Maurice, your friend Dewey's. God, he's just, he's so good. He's so good at it. Oh my God. It, for me, the thing that kills me is the how fortuitous. <laughs> It goes crazy. He also does a lot of really good, um, just like, he does a lot of good Redditors. And he also Why does. Why didn't you tell us you had a brother Dibbons? <laughs> this one's also really good. I'm, I'm going to play this one for you guys. Step forward, please. Sir, do you have any medals on you? Um, yes, I do have medals on me. Let's see. Copper, magnesium, iron, potassium. Do I need to provide you a list? I'm sorry, sir. What? You know, I assume that an agent for the Transportation Security Administration Terry, can you come over here for a would be uneducated. However, I did not expect that one would not even have a fifth grade level education and not know the common elements in the human body. Sir, I'm just trying to know if you have anything on you that could alert the machine. A belt, watch, anything like that? Well, those questions are fruitless. Instead, you should be asking me whether I have ammonium nitrate. Huh? Since even a smooth brain could make a makeshift explosive device. Whoa, whoa, who said anything about explosives? Hey, Terry? Yeah? Pull this guy out of line, he's making me nervous. Okay, sir, you're gonna need to come with us. We need a private <laughs> room to properly search you. I have a constitutional right under the Fourth Amendment against unreasonable <laughs> Step forward, please. He just has, like... Everyone is met. Everyone is met. Like, the most annoying man you could ever meet. Like, the most annoying man is very different than the most annoying woman you could meet. I feel like annoying men are just, like, smart asses who think that they need to explain everything to you all the time. And they're the worst people. And I'm saying that it's not, it's not a sexism thing. It's that the worst men that need, feel the need to explain everything to you, they do it to other men, too. <laughs> it's terrible. It's like they're the worst people. So people on Reddit, yes, that's why it says Redditor on it, right? And it's just, he captures it. He encapsulates it. Like, just the pure distilled version of that type of freak. You know? Uh, th this one is also, this last one, and then we can move on. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to starve to death. Uh, your man-child husband has a scary realization. Uh Why are you spicy? Are you the salt and vinegar? 
You don't have any plain? It's okay, I'll eat these. Babe. Babe. I'm reading this article. It's really scary. They say you have to clean your sheets every week or else bacteria can get in the bed and all this other scary shit. And I'm like thinking, like, when was the last time we cleaned the sheets? I can't even remember, like, ever. We did? Three days ago? Thank God. That would have been really gross. Oh, thank God. I thought it was... It's just every part of it is perfect. The hand wipe at the end. <laughs> The usage of the word we. Oh my god. It's just, it's just. As a former very smart. I understand why they, they're like this. I just wish that they figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. The neck roll. Yeah. Oh my god. It's everything. Everything is so good. This guy's great. This guy's fucking great. He just. He gets it. He fucking gets it. The run the jewels has amazing. Yeah. It, if it annoys you, when someone has an intelligence quotient that is higher than normal, it really says something about you. Huh? Are you talking about, like, the, the Redditor type people? Or did I misunderstand something? I'm trolling LOL star. Oh, okay, okay. All right. I'm going to take you at your word. Okay, guys. All right. A little bit of tomfoolery. Gotta be bait. No way. Yeah. 